get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. Good and Cassis for Rifle TV and association with Macklin's in Marbella. It's really late here in Glasgow. It's Frank, what time is it? Well, it's not that late. 11? 5 past 11. 5 past 11. Um, fighting on the bill tonight, winning. A uh, bit of a strange ending, wasn't it? Yeah. Against, uh, I, back home. You know what it was? I caught him with two nice body shots and I, I, I heard them. Go, and and they, they just landed so nice because we're like was that a counter shot because I think he was throwing a shot as I threw it and it landed right in his rib. So I don't know if there was a, a wee injury in the rib or what, but I knew I hurt him just when I caught him with that shot. Well, either way, obviously didn't want to know. Didn't yeah. come out for uh, the next round. So job done for you and on to the next. So yeah. um, one of weeks of training paid off uh, tonight. Yeah, definitely. Uh, like you go through the whole camp, everything's tough. Uh, got loads of rounds of sparring, different sparring and. Um, it's been a, it's been a good camp, and I'm just got to carry on and hopefully get a title shot uh, very soon because uh, I should be back in that mix. Obviously, coming towards the end of 2016, uh, only three months left. Are you anticipating being out again? Yeah, I anticipate being out hopefully December uh, in a title fight. Uh, so we'll see what see what see what happens. But I definitely want to be out by the, the end of the year. So I think there's a show maybe on MGM Scotland 3rd of December, potentially. Yeah, back in Glasgow, I think. Yeah. So that would be nice to get a title shot in there. Or, uh, whatever comes comes along, um, I'll be ready because I'm going. I'll be back in the gym Tuesday. I'll have uh, Monday off my wife and go for a nice meal and stuff. Uh, and I just enjoy time with my wife. Can you take your mum out? No, she's crazy. You know, oh. here in there, man. Do you know what? I was, I was just on the phone to mum and she said she could hear her on the telly at home. Yeah. She could just so, hear the. So next, the next, the war TV, cry. next TV event, she will not be sitting ringside. Yeah, but do you know she what? She will be I, as far away as possible. Do you know what? I've been there when obviously it's been so slight, you know, bigger crowds. You can still hear your mother. Uh, I know, but like usually on the TV event, she's like far away. She's like behind the barriers. But. But I'll give her, I'll give her a chance, and then she just spoil it. She just that is crazy shouting like it's just mental. She is, and she's. That's what it's been like all my amateurs as well. Like we kid. Fucking kill him! I think she had a word with your opponent. Do you know? Do you know about this? No. I think she said something. You'd have to ask her, but she said something to your opponent before you, before the fight tonight. I don't know what she said, but she seems to think that he didn't come out because of what she said. Right. <laughs> That, that tells you, well, I don't know what goes in her head. Uh, you'd miss that. If you could hear that screaming voice yeah. uh, in the middle of your fights while you're trying to concentrate, you'd miss I, it. I have to blanket, honestly. I, I hear it, but I blanket. I choose to blanket. Because what, what else can you do? It ain't a bad thing, though, is it? Come on, you've got to support well, I don't know. Would you, would, you, would you like it if your mum was like that? Yeah, but listen, my mum was at every one of my amateur fights. Oh, really? Yeah, she was. Was she going crazy? Yeah, she was nuts. Nah, she used to get on a JD. Uh, start shouting, Coogan, Coogan, Coogan. Coogan. You know, this is crowds of like thousands. Yeah. You know, when I was Sri Lankan amateur champion. Um, oh, aye. Yeah. Cruiserweight and all then. Ah, oh, cruiserweight. Yeah. Can't tell cruiser, didn't you? Can't make cruiser anymore. Some hate there. Can't, can't make cruiser anymore. But, um, listen, uh, jokes aside, you, you're pleased with your, your performance and obviously getting a win for you. I'm happy I never took nothing. Uh, we knew he was going to be. I watched him, I knew he was going to be cagey and tuck up when I was on, on the front foot. So it was about being wise and not falling into his traps uh, because you've got to respect anybody. If they've got 20 knockouts and 27 wins, you've got to respect anybody with that, that uh, knockout ratio. So I uh, respected him in that sense and didn't fall, didn't make any mistakes and just stuck to, stuck to the guns and stuck to what Billy told me in the corner. And a win for David Brophy. Yeah. Uh, first, obviously, outing since his defeat. Yep. Uh, back in April, yep. um, so you can all sort of go to bed tonight happy. Yeah, definitely got a happy camp tonight. Uh, I just want to obviously thank uh, MJ Marbella, MJ Scotland. They've done a great job and uh, uh, 
thank for everything I do, thank all my sponsors. Uh, there's my shop. Yeah, we, uh, we plug Let's here. get them on there. Cody's Kitchen. Where's that? Uh, in Come Glasgow. On, Stephen, you know <laughs> we don't know where Cody's Kitchen is. Oh, it's in Glasgow. Oh, it's in Glasgow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I ain't doing anything for lunch if they're open tomorrow. Oh, well, yeah, we can find it and then the Mac. Yeah, well, thanks, thanks to all my sponsors, they've been great and supporting me, uh, standing by me. Just uh, hopefully reward them a nice title in December. Well, we'll have to wait and see, not long till yeah, December, a couple of months, so a yeah, couple, of, couple of days so. out and then get back into camp. No, I'm, I'm, I'm back in training on Tuesday, there's, yeah. no, there's no point in going back and starting a whole camp again and getting fit, getting the weight, you know, crazy weights. So came in on the limit and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go that far over, I'm going to... Be sensible. I'm older, I'm more mature, I'm wiser, and I learnt from my mistake in, in Newcastle when I fucked the weight. Um, but these things happen, you learn from them. Absolutely. Do you know what? You're genuinely a nice person. Oh, it's just good. So no, yeah, I do, so I do, yeah, I genuinely, so you don't get that vibe off. You always have, I've known you a few yeah. years now. You get a nice vibe that. Ah, yeah, well, I'm nice I just one of the lads. Like, you see, like, people come up and speak to me and they say, ah, Fucking hell, you're quite a sound guy. I'm, like, I'm just one of you guys. I'm just doing a job that I love, and it's on you TV. Don't like you don't look like You don't look. Know what I mean? If you don't, if you didn't hear you talk, probably wouldn't think naturally. Oh, he looks like a nice person. You look like you're aggressive. And yeah, I've had that one as well. <laughs> you look like you, I'm not approachable. You're not approachable. Yeah, I've had that you do look like that. But, you know, talking to you over the years, I've just come to the conclusion today that, yeah, you're a nice person. No, anybody can approach me. I'm a nice guy. Uh, don't got any any harm and, and unless you do something wrong then I'll bite but that's it. Alright well listen Stephen well done tonight. Nice uh up. job done for you. So onwards uh, to hopefully December. Yep, almost the uh, almost to December. Go and chill tonight with the wife and watch the fight back on the T V and uh just get back in the gym on Tuesday. No problem. Stephen Simmons thanks for coming to Eiffel TV and uh, we'll definitely catch up with you soon. Nice one, cheers. Thank you mate. Cheers.